already got random. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some gymnastic tricks. And this is my cousin Ava. And she will also be helping me do some gymnastic tricks. We will also teach you the gymnastic tricks that we're doing. So, let's get started. So, how you do a forward roll is you start, put your hands up, bend your knees, put your hands down, tuck your knees close to your chest, tuck your head in, push off with your feet, and keep, make sure they're tucked. Roll over. Lift your head, push up, and think in a puddle. So, this is how to do a back roll. Put your hands up to your ears, bend down, and then just roll backward. It takes a lot of practice, but you'll get it eventually. So, how you do a cardio like I just did? Um, you start by pulling your hands up by your ears, like you do with the backward roll. Make sure they're straight and you're not like that. Then, if you're a righty, you want to put your left foot in front. If you're a lefty, you want to put your right foot in front. And you're going to bend that knee. Then, you're going to put all your weight on it. And you like that. And then, you try and end in a line. A one-handed cartwheel is just like a regular cartwheel, except you pick up one hand. So, if you're a righty, pick up your left hand. And if you're a lefty, pick up your right hand. So, I'm a righty, so I'm going to pick up my left hand. And I'm going to put all my might on this hand. Like that. And it's pretty much just like a regular cartwheel, except lifting up one of your hands. And if you're not really comfortable with it, try doing it halfway. So start out as a normal cartwheel, and then lift up one of your hands. Then when you start feeling more comfortable, try doing it only with one hand. How to do a round off. It's pretty much like a regular cartwheel, but you twist in the air. So, do your cartwheel. And then twist when you're about to land. And land with both of your feet together. So try a cartwheel and kind of twist to the other side. Like that. Use all of your body weight to twist. And then you'll be able to do a round off like this. How you do a one-handed roundoff is just like how you do a regular roundoff, except you lift one hand up, and you can put it on your hip if you're tempted to put it down. So, um, I'll show you one, and then I'll, like, do it slowly for you. So, first. That's how you do it on certain speed. If you just start it, you're going to start, put one foot out, go like this, and you can rest. You can rest your arm as you go into the um, little handstand position. Or if you want to rest your arm, you can go like this. And then end with your two knees. So that's basically how you do it. To do a front handspring. So pretty much what you need is to fold up your mat and make it long ways. So what you have to do is I'm comfortable with jumping onto the mat and then going forward at the edge and then kind of flipping off of it at the end of the mat. I'm gonna get up <laughs> and if you don't know how to, you know, go front, go like that, 
off the mat and then flip over. So like this. So like that, pretty much. And you'll look like this. handspring, when you get the hang of it, try to move a little bit faster. I'm going to tell you how to do the back handspring. I mean, sorry, back walkover. Um, it's just basically a back handspring, but a little less jumpy. So, what you want to do is you can either step on the mat, mat or not the one. I usually step on the mat and you go into a bridge. So a bridge or a back You go lean back, look down and put your hands down like this. Then you take the one leg like if you're a righty, take your right leg. If you're a lefty, take your left leg. But I'm a righty, so I'm gonna take my right leg and kick over and end like this. But if you can't do the bridge part, lie down, put your hands like this, push up, and then so that's it. Yeah. So this is a headstand. What you have to do is you have to put your hands down and put your head in between. Then push up with all your might and kind of do a split in the air. Then, when you feel comfortable, push it up and you will be doing a headstand. So, how to do a handstand, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. Um, if you're a righty, start with your right foot out and your hands and your arms up by your ears. If you're a lefty, start with your left foot out and your hands up by your ears. So, what you're going to start is you're going to push on your knee and put all your weight on that foot like you do with the cartwheel and almost in a lunge. Go on your tippy toes, fall over and hold in the air as long as you can like this. But like try to get as straight as possible. I got scared there was a book right there. Um, so you're gonna go like this. And try not to flip over like I just did. But that was like a perfect hand. So that's it. So how to do a right split. I don't know how to do a left split, but I'm gonna do a right split. So I'm gonna kind of start out like this and point my feet. And I'm gonna pretend that I have two buckets full, filled with water on my hands. And I'm gonna go down and down and down and down. And then get into a split. So, how you do a split, well, a uh, side split, is you will, you could either jump up into the split like that and lie on your stomach and then come up. Or you could slowly stretch one leg, stretch two legs, three, and then go down from there. That's actually a better way to do it if there's any muscles. And if you, <laughs> if you do it, um, you can practice by going up against a wall like this until you can get it straight. And that's really it.